We're going to talk about interlocked rhythms, the overlapping of clocking, gate sequencing, voltage addressing, and generally the feelings of rhythms arising from juxtaposed shapes in continuous flux rather than regimented segments of time. Now that said, in order to clearly demonstrate the concepts that will give rise to this rhythmic lattice, I will use a more regimented time source as the starting point. But we're going to try to unmoor the sequence from this time source, and by the end we'll have the opportunity to cut loose from it entirely. So the core of my patch is two slow channels of Tempe. Channels three and six are both set to a divide by two, but phase offset from each other so that they fire one after the other in the same time relationship each time. Channel six is molted to the left-hand trigger inputs of each of the two maths here. And channel three to the right ones. Why are we triggering two channels of maths with each instead of just one? Let's dig in. Right now, channel three is muted, so we hear only the results of channel six. The left hand triggered functions of these maths. Okay, so the first one opens the top channel of the DXG with the STO variable output as the sound source. The STO is being sequenced by the Rene X channel. We'll notice that the Rene is not being clocked at all. Instead, I've got the other left-hand math channel patched to the XCV input, and we'll turn on fun.cv.location. If you saw last week's video, then you saw this input being used to add some flourishes around the steps of a clock sequence. This time, we're skipping the clock entirely, meaning that each of these triggered flourishes can be repeated exactly if we like. Since I'm using one math channel to address the sequence and the other to open the DXG, we can make the amplitude and timbre shape different from the sequence shape. For example, letting it ring out a bit while adjusting the controls of the addressing function. Additionally, I've got the X gate output patched to the strike input on this DX channel. This will allow us to generate sub rhythms as we see fit. The curve of the addressing function makes a big difference here. Note how an exponential curve will slow down towards the end. This will give us a lot of very uh, non-regimented rhythmic possibilities. And this is a lot of fun, but why stop there? Indeed, why stop anyway? The Y channel of Rene is set up in basically the same way. Here we'll momentarily mute the X channel and turn on the Y channel. In this channel of the DXG, we hear the XPO very timbre. sequenced by the Y channel on Rene, which is being addressed by the right channel of our second maths. So 
basically the same setup as the X channel. I also have Tempe channel 2 pressing play on this morphogene at a faster rate. If the rhythms start to get harder to parse, this will let us hear the leading tempo a bit. Morphogene is bandpass filtered by the QPOS before heading into the aux inputs on the DXG. Again, the thing is that this is totally optional. I'm putting this in here to make it easier to hear what's happening uh, rhythmically as we change it up. If you patch it up at home, there's obviously no requirement that you do that. But anyway, let's now hear the X and Y channels at the same time. have independent voice control via the DXG and also independent sequence control via the Rene. We can change up the controls on all four math channels plus the gate pages of the X and Y Rene channels to create any number of juxtaposed rhythmic variations. that temporal bedrock, we can mute all the tempi channels and just cycle the math channels instead. maths gate outputs to various other maths inputs might help us tie these various channels together a little bit. plenty of rhythmic variations with varying degrees of what we might call musicality. Including some that we might consider to be total train wrecks. Somewhere in the temporal sludge, you might find something that's really compelling.
favorite ways to come up with new rhythmic motifs? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and happy patching. Thank you.